As we continue the uh, classes and the lectures about harmony in family life, today we'd like to go to the other level of uh, one of the main obstacles of making husband and wife living together with peace and harmony. It's a very sensitive point and it might not define 100%, but I think it will give us a certain understanding about how thing has to be a uh, walk in a family life. The worst feeling that husband and wife, spouse can give to each other, one of the worst obstacles of marriage life is the feeling of rejection. There was a sad story recently about a young couple who came to me with a problem. The husband and wife they married after they knew each other and they loved each other. And they decided that for the first five years of their life, they're going to have three children. And afterwards, they're going slowly, slowly raise them. And they, uh, God was very kind to them. And they have three children, young, healthy, beautiful children. The problem was that excessive pregnancies and deliveries and lack of sleeping and a lot of stress. After that third child was born, the mother, the wife, she went through a, a depression and uh, made her very unfortunately obese. And she was starting to um, eat and she gained about 20, 25 pounds. And she started to feel that her husband is coming home, he loves the children, but he's rejecting her. And when she faced him and she said, what happened? He told her something very bad. He told her, you became too fat and ugly. She was very upset and it didn't help her. She went to speak to her mother and her mother told her, so go to the gym. And she went to the gym to lose weight. And over there, she uh, fell in love with one of the people over there. And unfortunately, she went to an extreme that I had to separate this couple. After the divorce was delivered to her, I asked her, how can such a wonderful woman, spiritual, not religious, but spiritual, come from a good family, how can she this, how she can commit such a mistake? So she told me, Rabbi, nobody can justify my mistake. But I can tell you, when he told me, after three day children and after so much suffer, that he rejects me, I understood that our marriage is over. The worst feeling in marriage life is when the spouse is feeling rejected and then all the other issues become so big and so and it's devastating from the other side was another case of a woman that she was married for 10 years and she called me that her husband left her and she has three children too and he lives with another woman so I called him and I say, how is it impossible? You are married, you have wife, children. He told me my wife, before she got married, her mother, that she was a big, uh, pretend to be a big understand a person about life. She told her that she has to play how to get. Everything that your husband asks you, never give him easily. He has to, he has to gain it. You have to play the how to get. And for 10 years, he told me, Rabbi, it was all the time rejection. She rejects me. Whatever I say is not good. Whatever I ask is not. <clears throat> At a certain point, I couldn't handle it anymore. I disagree with him and I told him he has to maintain his, his, his family. So he told me, Rabbi, she was using the kids to, um, to and, uh, and, then, and then rejects me and it wouldn't work out. I disagree with the first girl, woman, and the second case of the husband. But I learned something that I would like to share with you. 
Never ever give your spouse feeling of rejection. This is a worse feeling and it's a big tool of the evil inclination to separate people. Nevertheless, <coughs> the man has to be very sensitive to his wife's needs and the wife too. And you have to stop this power game and the power struggle and just live with each other and for each other. Be careful. Rejection is very dangerous. Hopefully, slowly, slowly, when we're learning every week another part, another good thing and another obstacle, we will be able to enhance and to improve our marriage life. Because when husband and wife living happily, when husband and wife not rejecting each other, they live with each other and they support each other, it's such a wonderful system that God created for us. And as the Gemara says, when a person is married and a wife is married, they are happy, there is a simcha, and there is the blessing of Hashem. As the uh, David, King David, blessed us, Vihi Noam Adonai Eloheinu Aleinu, Umaaseh Adonu Konenah Aleinu, Umaaseh Adonu Konenehu. May the uh, blessing of Hashem is going to help us to build wonderful houses with Ahava, with love and respect and understanding, have a wonderful life.